Okay, welcome to Space Invaders Part 13. Again, this is an update, or actually, I guess, additional uh, you know, code to uh, accompany my Space Invaders tutorial. Um, so this is being written five years after the original tutorial was posted. So in this video, I want to talk about class, uh, cross-platform sound and background music. Now, if I run the program, we've already got sound. So I can go, got that. I got a little laser sound. I got an explosion sound. Well. If I hit something, I have an explosion sound. Um, so let's take a look at that code real quick. So if I come down to somewhere, uh, so for example, okay, so when the I fire the bullet, I'm using the OS module, and what this does is it actually you know sends a message to the command line, and since I'm on a Mac here, this is my school computer or my work computer, depending on how you want to put it. Um, I'm using a, a program called AF Play. And then I'm using a audio file called laser.wave. And the ampersand is what lets it play asynchronously. Um, if I didn't have that, it would stop the entire program, play the sound, and then when the sound was done, then the program would continue. But the ampersand lets the, the program run while the sound is playing in the background. Okay, so this will only work on uh, Mac. Now, usually I use Linux, uh, but my computer's broken. So on Linux, it's A play, and then of course Windows got, has to do its own thing. Uh, there's a whole module on Windows just for this. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make uh, code that will play sound on all three operating systems. So here we go. Um, so the first thing I need to do is uh, I'm going to be using a module called Platform. So I'm going to import Platform. Now, it should be available on your system by default. Um, to test that, just go ahead and run your, run your program. And if it runs, good, there's no error message. Now, your editor, especially if you're using like PyCharm or something like that, might say, you know, you've imported something but haven't used it. Just ignore that, we're gonna use it in a second. Um, so here we go. So the first thing I have to do is determine the platform. So if on Windows, uh, you need to import WinSound. Um, and as I like to put, or better yet, uh, just use Linux. Sorry, I can't resist. Uh, so here's how we do it. So if platform, parentheses, equals, equals, two equal signs, Windows. Okay. Uh, so if you're on Windows, you need to use the import, the WinSound module. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use something called try and accept, and I'll explain in a second. So try this. If you're on Windows, try this. Import WinSound. Okay, and what will happen is it will try that. It will, the command import WinSound will go through. Um, now, if your computer, for whatever reason, doesn't have WinSound on it, um, you're going to get an error and the program will stop. But, if you use try and accept print uh, win sound module not available available okay now okay so basically what this is going to do it's going to check your platform if it happens to be windows it will import it will try importing the win sound module now if it imports it you won't see anything it'll just keep going uh, if it doesn't work it'll print out an error message to the terminal Wind sound module not available, so you know that you have to go ahead and uh, install that on your system. Now again, I don't use Windows, so unfortunately I can't really test this for you, um, but this should work, okay? So that's part one. Um, we've imported that module. Now we gotta actually go ahead and use it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down, and I could, I could have put this anywhere, but um, I have all my other methods here. Um, so I'm just gonna add this one here. And as long as I put it before I play some sounds, we'll be fine. So what I've done is I've created a new method called play sound, okay? And it takes two arguments, sound file, okay? So that's the file that you wanna play, uh, and time. And I'll explain that in a minute and the way that's set up. Um, so this tutorial is a little bit more advanced than the original tutorial series. There's some stuff in here you may not have seen before, uh, but that's how we learn. So 
I assume at this point that you're familiar with passing parameters and values and things to functions. Um, however, what we have here is a uh, the ability to, I, I'm not sure what it's called, but you can set a default value. Um, so I have an option of sending time or not sending time. Okay, and I'll explain what time is used for in a minute. Um, so Windows, for our Windows peeps, Windows. So same thing, if platform.system equals Windows. Now again, I would have already imported the, the module. Now if the module doesn't exist, this, this isn't going to work. Um, you have to have the module for it to work on Windows. Okay, um, so we use the win sound dot play sound. Notice the capitalization, small w, big P, big S. Um, the sound file. And then you need to put type win sound dot snd a, yeah, a sync. Okay, and what that does, that has the same effect uh, as using the ampersand on Linux and Mac. So that is the command that will play a sound in the background on Windows. Now, the biggest problem I found from Windows users, and again, it's not something I can personally confirm because I don't use Windows. Um, I'll probably say it 100 times, but I don't use Windows. Uh, but welcome, Windows users. The sound file, uh, usually in this case, what I've been doing is like something like laser.wave and it's in the same folder. But for some reason on a lot of the Windows machines, you actually have to put the whole path. Uh, users, blah, 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 and then it would be like laser.wave. So it will only work in that particular folder. Um, there's probably a way around that uh, using some of the OS module, but um, I'm gonna keep this a little bit simple. So next one up is my good friend Linux. Uh, again, I prefer Linux personally. But uh, again, it's it's not working. Oops, don't want to forget the parentheses there. Uh, system parentheses equals quote Linux. And some people prefer GNU Linux. That's fine. Um, so in this one, we're going to be using the OS module. So os.system, and this is similar to what we did here on the Mac. A play. I'm going to put dash Q, and what that does is it tells the module, or tells uh, A play uh, to be quiet and not to like display a bunch of messages, because it has a tendency to show a bunch of extra information you don't need. Parentheses, uh, and I talked about these parentheses, I think, in the uh, video 11 and how that works. Uh, the ampersand, because we want it to be asynchronous, quote dot format, and in this case, sound file. Okay. So we're just using the same thing. We're using the A play uh, program that's already included, should already be included on your Linux system. Uh, we're using the Q uh, flag to keep it from displaying a bunch of messages. And then whatever our sound file is, will get put here. And that's what the format command does. And then again, we want it to play asynchronously. Um, actually, no, I should have put this uh, L if. It's not gonna matter, but it'll makes it look better. Uh, and then the last one is Mac. So if we don't have those systems, let's go ahead and assume we have Mac. Um, I could, yeah, that's probably the easiest way to do it. And I'm gonna say os.system, and on Mac it's af play. I don't need the Q. And same thing, ampersand, and format sound file. Okay, so, and I'll get to this in, in a minute. So let's go ahead and test it. Uh, so I'm gonna go down to where I've got OS system AF play explosion, and I'm gonna change that to play sound. And I don't need the ampersand because I'm already adding it up above. And then there's a second place here. Say play, ooh, play sound, quote explosion. Now don't accidentally leave the AF play in there because you'll get an error uh, like I did. Also make sure there's no space uh, in your file names. Like if you had like explosion sound, it's not gonna work. Um, so either put an underscore or uh, just leave no space. Um, yeah, there can't be a space in there. Sorry, that's a little 
Gotcha. Um, I had some trouble with that earlier. Um, play sound. I think there's one more place. Um, where is the explosion? Um, anybody see it? I'm just missing it. Oh, explosion, explosion. Sorry, I did. Explosion, explosion, and laser. Uh, ah, there it is. Up here is the laser. That's what. That was the third one. And then play sound laser and again we don't need the ampersand because in the method we're adding it automatically okay so I'm gonna go ahead and run it and make sure that works lovely uh, module object is not callable okay so I made a mistake up here it's uh, platform dot system okay so sorry about that uh, yeah uh, again I, yeah stupid me so Sorry about that, but you know, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo, I'm gonna undo that and run it again. Um, I constantly get uh, requests for help, and I'm happy to help. Uh, but you know what? Read the error message. Um, it tells you exactly where the problem is, pretty much. Uh, line 12 says module object is not callable. Platform equals. Now, even if you don't understand what module object is not callable means, you can go back to the video, rewind a little bit, and look and see. Oh my God, I forgot to put uh, system in there. Okay. Uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta learn to debug. Um, long story short, so let's run that. Okay, no error messages. Now let's see if the sounds are playing. Okay, so looks good to me. Um, all right, I'm pretty happy with that. Now the last thing I want to show you, because uh, this is something I get a, a lot of requests for, is background sound. Um, so some background music. Now the diff. Well, I mean, I was gonna say, like, basically, you know, you're using the same method. You're still gonna be playing a sound, but the, the challenge is to get it to repeat. Uh, you know, every time that you know the sound has to keep going in the background, uh, and that's why in this play sound method, I have where's that time? Okay, so watch what I do here. So basically, the default is zero. So if you notice. Uh, I put play sound laser wave. I didn't put comma zero. I put nothing. Okay, so because there's nothing there, time defaults to zero. Okay, so uh, let's see, uh, repeat sound. Okay, so if time is greater than zero, so if I've specified a repeating time, now this is time in seconds. I'm going to be using the turtle modules on timer method. Okay. And watch what I do here. I, I use a, something called a lambda. And this is, a, it's called like an inline function. Um, I'm not 100% sure why you got to do this, but you just do. Um, so play sound, uh, sound file, time. comma t equals int time times one zero zero okay now let me explain that uh so this part okay this time is in seconds okay so I'm sending the number of seconds that this sound file is going to play. So I have to I have to figure that out before I, I run it, uh, before I put this the, the line in here. Uh, and then this actually determines when it will be repeated. I think I missed a parenthesis, yeah. Um, so this T okay, is in milliseconds. So the timer And so let's let's say it's 10 seconds. In 10,000 milliseconds, we'll call this method again. So call this method again in time times 1,000 milliseconds. So if it's 10 seconds, uh, this function will call again. Okay. Now this time here we're using seconds. So just to make it uh, easier, I thought for human beings. Um, so this will repeat the sound. Um, I don't know if that's the greatest explanation, but that's the gist of it. 
So what we have to do is we have to A, get some background music. Now I've already got some background music and uh, I found it here on orangefreesounds.com cinematic, I found, I chose a cinematic electronic track and it is by someone called Alexander and it's actually very recent, it was this week uh, or last week rather and uh, from Alexander Blue, so thank you very much to Alexander and uh, he has made this uh, available for uh, non-commercial use. I hope this qualifies. And uh, so attribution, non-commercial, 4.0. Not sure what the international part is, but uh, so here is the attribution for Alexander. I will put this into the video description as well. So very thank, very thankful to him. Um, now I've downloaded the file. In this case, it's an MP3. Now your system, you might have some trouble playing MP3s. In which case, you could convert it to a WAV file. Um, but it seems to be working fine on my computer, so I'm going to go with it. Um, so the important thing here is that it is 1 minute and 59 seconds. So that's 119 seconds total. So remember that. So let's go back to our code. Uh, so just before the main loop starts, I'm going to say play background music. Okay. And sound, uh, sorry, play sound. And I've already saved this as bgm.mp3. I changed the name. Again, you can't have any spaces in here. The original file name was much longer and had a bunch of spaces. So I always uh, rename it to something shorter that I can remember. And as I said, it's 119 seconds long. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And, okay, so you can hear the background music. And I'm gonna play this for two minutes. Uh, until 7.53 a.m. I'm a morning person and see if it restarts. This is really cool music. Now again if you're having trouble like if the background music is a little too loud for your program uh, you might want to open it up in an editor and reduce the volume. Uh, you can use Audacity for that. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, again this is a fairly simple system. Actually the, uh, the Mac version of AF Play does have a volume control uh, but the other ones, I'm not sure if they do or not, so we're trying to keep this simple. Uh, so I know this is going to get a little boring, but I just do want to just make sure it, it works uh, before I end the video. And I could cut it out, I suppose, but uh, I like to just leave my videos pretty raw. Uh, a, it's easier. And B, uh, you know, I think it's good for you to see the mistakes and to see the process. Uh, it's, it's sometimes not pretty. Yikes! Okay. Okay, I got about 45 seconds. And hopefully it will repeat. I should have chosen something shorter, I know. Uh, I did actually test it with the uh, explosion sound before I uh, did this video. But it kind of gives me a couple minutes to do this. So, 52. So it's 53, it should repeat, I think. Or by 53. Oh, you can't see the clock, sorry. But it's up here somewhere. Um, cut that off in the video. Okay, it's stopping. And. There we go, restarting. Now I could have. Now that I realize there's a little bit of quiet part at the end, I might have made it 115 seconds. So there's a little less you know, of a gap. But, you know, you can kind of play around with that. Okay, again, this is a very simple system. Now, if you notice, I stopped the program, but the background sound is still playing. Uh, this happens on Mac. It happens on Linux, as far as I know. Um, I haven't tested it on Windows. I don't really know. I'm sorry. Uh, so I tried closing this. doesn't work. So in the terminal on Mac, what you need to do is type kill all AF play, and that kills the sound. On Linux, it's kill all A play. Um, it's not going to work here because we're not on Linux. And uh, on Windows, I'm sorry, I just don't know. Uh, but it might just shut off uh, because you're using the Win Sound module. Uh, somebody will have to let me know in the comments. So that is that. Um, so, you know, here's the code again. Um, first, you need to import the Win Sound module if you're on Windows. Um, actually, what you could do is you don't actually need to do that. You just say try import Win Sound. Uh, and yeah, I can probably just leave it at that. Actually, would probably do it. Uh, and then, but you still, you do need the platform thing 
down here in this method. Okay, so remember, the time is in seconds. So how many seconds do you want the sound file to repeat? If you don't use a time, it doesn't repeat. Um, it just plays at one time, which is usually what you want, um, except for the background music. Um, again, in, in Windows, you're using the Win Sound uh, module. On Linux, you're using the A Play program. And on Mac, you're using AF Play. Okay, so just be sure to copy this very, very carefully. Um, again, if you're not using, you know, if, you're, if you have no intention of using Linux or, or Mac, for example, you're just using Windows, you know, you can shorten this up a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, this, this part here is a little bit more complicated. Again, this timer is controlled by this. So again, that's in milliseconds. So 10 seconds becomes 10,000. Uh, but this method uses seconds. So it could be, you know, you know, like I said, in our case, it was 119. Um, and then again, the background music, um, don't put it in the loop because you don't want it to play a million times. You just want it to play one time and then repeat every X amount of seconds. Okay? Uh, and again, same thing here. You might need the full path, uh, if you're on, especially if you're on Windows. Windows users seem to have a lot of problems with this. Uh, users, blah, 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 you know, whatever the full path is uh, on Windows tends to be necessary. It also depends on your editor, um, so there's a few there's a few gotchas on that. But uh, yeah, that's about it for this one. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, you will get your sound working and uh, you can share it with your friends who are on Windows, you can share it with your friends who are on Mac, uh, share it with your friends who are on Linux, and then we can all just get along. Have a good one. Take care.